Yeah. And it's still incredibly high-end futuristic stuff no, that's no. only coming out in cars now. So you say any drivers can drive F1? No, no, they can't. Once again, there's some indie drivers, that's some fat, fat dudes. There's some yeah. indie cars. Indie cars is like this. Indie cars are te up to spec technology. As for cars here in America and somewhere else, you got Toyota, Ford, Chrysler, whatever you want to call them. But they, they all share the thing about indie cars. They share the technology. In an F1 car, they don't <laughs> share the technology. Because, you know, their technology is what is... It, it, Ferrari dominated. They, they dominated F1. Because he made the cars in-house. He did everything he's supposed to do. That was a technology right there. But you say that, so, and that's actually wrong. Ferrari well, never dominated F1. Mercedes, did, Mercedes and McLaren have dominated F1. They have more wins yeah, than anybody you know, else. Yeah, but that whole year, the whole year of their championship, how many championships they won in that single, I mean, in, in, in the years to come? It was Braun. Back to back. Braun. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Braun and Mercedes have that record of the most wins in a single season. I think Mercedes almost got it perfect last year. I think the only... The only two races they lost last year is when Hamilton and got into it. Rosberg smashed into each other. You know, the you know, Mercedes are dominating Formula One at the minute. There's no, they, they have the best car on the track, they have the best engine. You know, it's 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 nearly boring to watch at the minute. So it is because you just know a Mercedes car is going to win. It just depends on how much the win by. Might know. Did you see? Did you see last week's? It wasn't Mercedes last week. No, nah, I didn't watch last week's yet. I have it recorded. No, it's just you watch that one. It wasn't Mercedes. Yeah, but it's nice to see other cars coming back at them now. But for a long time Absolutely. there, there Absolutely. wasn't. There was nobody, and I don't like Hamilton. I think he's a pompous, fucking arrogant know, little so. shit. So he is. Wait, you had to give him. You you, you you got to give him a chance because. Hamilton, I mean, a lot of people thought that he couldn't drive, really. He can't drive. He yeah, can't drive. He, bring, he, he can't he drive. Can't he drive. brings lots of money in and therefore gets the best car and therefore yeah. wins races. But see, when he first won his championship, I nah, think... Nah, nah. Last, year, last year, he was on an even keel with Rosberg. So he, he was. The two of them were in the exact same car for the first time and he hammered Rosberg. I, I, I think that when he had that conversation with you know who, and he told him how he should run his car and race his car. And push the car that much. And I mean, don't get me wrong, Hamilton did a brilliant job, even though he was dirty. But which F1 driver wasn't dirty? All the best drivers were dirty. So, yeah, but. Like, yeah, but. But then, but then again, I was never a Prost fan for the simple reason. I've gone back and watched old F1s. Prost wouldn't go for a win. And to me, that's not a race driver. But how many, how Prost, 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 would, Prost would sit there and work out, right, I've won the last three races. If I come fourth in the next three, that's enough to keep me my championship lead. And he would do that. He would religiously like sit that. back and keep fourth. And then when he had to win races, he'd win them. And that's that's not a race driver. You know? That's what you call a technical race driver. Nah. I mean, if he can sit back... Nah, the day, the, day, the day you're racing and you don't go out there going for first place, you're no longer a race driver. I don't care who you are or what competition you're in. I, I, I feel you on that, Johnny. But, you know, nowadays, race car drivers are technical drivers. They are technical. They're technical drivers. And the reason why is because you have very little... There were little drivers that wanted to, want to go out there and 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 really want to really run a 100% race. Uh, you don't have to use up all the car, or you just come in second or third, or you good. Yeah, you really good. I mean, those drivers, those are technical drivers. But then you do have what they call well, 
Virtual. I Virtual. wouldn't. I wouldn't even put um, Nigel Mansell in the same class as Schumacher. Nigel Mansell, he's a good driver, but he's not in the same class as Schumacher. Mika Hakkinen was an amazing driver, fantastic driver. Um, Kimi Raikkonen, another fantastic driver who just hasn't had the car under him. But you gotta love oh. Kimi. Like a few years ago when he won his race in the Renault. Will you shut the fuck up? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you, you just gotta love that line. Push. Give the trailer a wee push, Alex, will you? I cut that way too tight. I understand what you... In the psycho world, nah, man, you... In the psycho world, it's different. You know, in the psycho world, it's all about timing. So it is. Whereas in... Racing, it should really be... The guy who finishes first is the best. Not the guy who can finish first one race and then come second for ten races. Personally, I think I think the championship should be a hundred points to the winner and ten to second place and go down from that. So basically, you need to win the race to win the championship. Yeah, need, that that's the way. That, that's my personal thoughts. I know everybody's going to go. No, you can't do that. Oh, was I supposed to turn there? No, I'm not. You know you're driving at the wrong wrong end of the road, right? It's my fucking road. I'll drive whatever side of it I want. <laughs> My whole thing is about technical races. They listen to other people. They listen to the people. They coach and all that shit. Schumacher didn't listen to it. And, and the, the other guy that... Shut up. Black, black, black. The other guy that you were saying... Turn there. Turn there, Lee. The turn that. Yeah. He didn't listen to nobody. He was like, shit. He just didn't have a car up under him. But you know that's, you know, you, you can't really tell people. People be like, it's like NASCAR. I used to sit up there watching NASCAR all the time. I know I'm gonna get. I I, I know I'm gonna. Yeah, get but people out. watch NASCAR and rallying for the same reason. So they don't yeah. see the crashes. <laughs> you know, you're not there that, to watch the fucking too, race. You're there to see the like crashes. This. And that's a good point that you bring up rally. I used to sit up here and watch rally. I don't watch rally no more. Because what happens is, is like this. You have the teams that have the most abundantly money, the most money, and they can put the most better technology in the car. If rally, if, if the officials had pulled up and said, hey, this is the car that you need to have, and, and, and this is the technology you need to have to go in the car. This is what engine you need to have. Don't take this engine and modify it so much. You need to have this much, this much cubic inches off in there, I or these CCs or whatever you need to have in it. You don't have that in there. You have like, here comes Subaru. Subaru Just, came out. This land doesn't present. come out where I thought it did. And when the Subaru came out, everybody threw tons of a million dollars in a rally car. You, it don't take it don't take a million dollars to make a rally car. It takes hundreds of thousand dollars. But Subaru had a million dollars. They had a million dollars, so they won the championship. So that was unfair. Now, now NASCAR's the same thing. The guy that has the biggest team, the biggest money that is in his pocket, will have the best fast car. That's why you had Jeff Gordon winning championships. That's why you had... Uh, What's his protege uh, drive the number 48 car? Uh, uh, what is his damn name? Well, I don't know. I don't watch NASCAR. I, I don't watch NASCAR no more. I barely... I, I, I watch the stadium trucks. I, I like that because all the trucks are the same. Yeah, I and race those and I race them. So I love the stadium trucks. They... They are all the same. I used to watch um, the Continental GT cars. That used to be awesome to watch, but now they're doing more cheating off in there, and then they build their way up into the Le Mans series. And the Le Mans series, is, it, it, it's not got ridiculous now. It really has. So, you know. Yeah, well, Le Mans, se Le Mans series is well regulated. That's the only thing about yeah. it. You it's know, well regulated, but this is what they're doing. 
you getting inexperienced drivers. It, it like say for instance, this coming up Le Mans race is going to have they're going to have up to 10 guys from iRacing.com racing in those cars. Yeah, but they're going to be trained, Juki. It's not like, oh, you can drive on lane here. Come and jump in this car. Yeah, but that, you, you know, that's un, that's understandable. That's understandable. But, though, why? I mean, you at least could have give them, what's the, the, the next thing? You could at least give them Daytona, 24 hours, Le Mans. No, I, and, virtual evolution, I believe that 100%. For the simple reason is the Mini, Mini only done 80 miles an hour. But the Mini done 80 miles an hour everywhere. You didn't have to slow down in corners with the Mini. Like, you even watch that. You watch back the old uh, British Touring Car Series. And you seen the Americans coming over with their huge, big fucking Dodges and Chevys and all sorts of things. But the massive 6 liter V8s in them. You know, thinking they were going to absolutely hound the Minis out of it. But the problem was they couldn't go around corners. They had to slow way, way down for the corner and the Mini would fly around the outside of them and away. And they couldn't catch them then. That, that was the problem. But sure, it was the same whenever... We were talking about this last week too. We were talking about Le Mans and Ford coming over. Ford going to Enzo Ferrari to buy the factory. I don't know whether... You all probably know this story. Um, basi basically, the deal that they had made on the phone, whenever they got over there, Enzo had completely changed it. So basically, Ford would own it and pay for it, but Enzo still had the last word on everything. You know? Henry Ford Jr. wouldn't have a say in what the company done, or what they built, or who they picked as race drivers. He had no say. I'll be back. I'm getting food here. No problem, Lee. Okay. You know, so they... I'm going to have to throw in half a fucking... Bag around me. So that's why the deed got cancelled, and that's why Ford got into Le Mans, the GT40. It took them a long time just to master that. Yeah, should have blew up the first ten or something, didn't they? Yeah. Crashed them or blew them up. Basically, Ford could build a car that could go anywhere fast in a straight line, but they couldn't go around corners. So, Mr. Shelby came up with the idea of putting these huge back wheels under it to make it go around corners. But the problem with doing that was he knew nothing about aerodynamics. So, when the car got fast, it got late in the front end and just basically it would go in a straight line, alright, but it wouldn't go around the corner. But that all started over an argument between two men. Between Henry Ford Jr. and Enzo Ferrari. But there's some brilliant documentaries out there if you just go and watch them about it, guys. If you are into motor racing at all. Or even if you are just into any sort of history at all. I can't even remember what we got what got us on to that subject. I, I like to see that the one in, in Australia. There's a guy that got a Honda, what is it, a Honda Civic? And he's whooping ass. He's got a little four banger out there. <laughs> and he's whooping ass. I'd be watching this guy all the freaking time. And it's, it's hilarious just to watch this guy with a fucking Honda Civic get out there. He don't have the straightaway speed. But through corners and stuff, oh my goodness, this guy, he doesn't even have to, he breaks late, gets him an advantage. I mean, you're talking about a little bit of car. Yeah, of but. Oh. Oh, baby. Uh-oh. Oh, baby. Force induction for the win, absolutely, turbo all the way. 
I would be a tuner, man. I have